whereas the future of uh, imaging science or the uh, uh, hospital industry is uh, mostly lying on that basis of the imaging sciences. You know, whenever we are doing some processes, all the healthcare procedures require some imaging for the confirmation of the any deformity inside or that any tissue damage, what are the things. These are things identified mainly using the radiological services. So without yeah, imaging science, the future of a medical industry is very difficult to handle. Yeah. Um, just I have made some uh, PPE uh, to get to the basics of the radiology sciences and what are the future scope. Because the, these uh, things are very much required for the upcoming students or those who want to finalize radiology as their career of choice. Why they have to choose the radiology as your main professional in the future course? The radiography is the part of the modern medicine. Because when you are going inside the hospital, for any processes, mostly if you are internal any damages like your fractures or any other morbidities, without your routine radiological basic information, it's difficult for your clinician to identify the process. So most of the patients ask to undergo your imaging processes, either a X-ray, a CT scan, or MRI. Like this process are very much required to confirm the diagnosis for the procedures to identify by the clinicians. All the subspecialty of the clinicians are required is imaging any one of the modality from the basic X-ray to the modern PET scan. Now the PET scan is uh, booming in your like uh, anything. It has the uh, overall uh, effective in the identifying tumor levels and uh, metastasis of tumors and other processes. So there are is a branch of medical science having the broadly divided into two or three we can tell. I said diagnostic radiology, interventional radiology and the therapeutic radiology. But the diagnostic radiology, all have that is uh, taking images using uh, X-ray, CT, and other things, and the uh, interventional using imaging techniques for us for to get the direction. Patient can be treated and diagnosis using minimally invasive procedures, and in the therapeutic using a high energy ionizing radiation to treat the pre diagnosis diagnosed ailment, like a cancer or a type of things to our tumors, it will be very much easy for them to identify and treat them. Even nowadays, imaging is having a very much high role in the therapeutic process of radiotherapy also. Because with that sophistication in the computer knowledge, and, and the, we want to treat that very precisely the lesion without affecting the adjacent organs or something. So they can give them very good high dose of radiation to control the diseases. In the previous era, when the imaging is not possible to identify the, where they are going to treat the patient for the therapeutic purposes, it's difficult to control because they have to go through that adjacent organ, what the different organs are, to take care of that organs tolerances levels, they are not able to give the tumor lethal doses. So some chances of uh, metastasis have happened in the previous era. Nowadays, mm -hmm. these things are very much controlled. They are able to give the very high precise dose to the tumors. And in these uh, processes, the different type of levels of courses are available to in India, the different levels of courses are offered for the radiography. It is certificate level courses, diploma level courses, degree level courses, master degree, and 
doctorate degrees also available nowadays for the pursuing for our career jobs. And in the modern era, interventional radiology plays a vital role in a cat lab or the neuro diagnostic or a therapeutic processes. And teleradiology is taking a key role because when without super specialties, multi specialties not available in the remote regions, they were able to get that proficiency through teleradiology. This is one of the booming advanced uh, technology for persuade for the radiologies or the um, technologies, wherever they want to do that. And why we need for specialization? Because increasing in the degree of specialization with a multiple imaging system and diseases related to specialities, it is strongly advised to have a specialized in that particular field. Proficiency, proficiency in a single imaging modality may work in super primary specialty centers, but secondary or tertiary centers require multiple imaging modality specialties. Because one person, if he is only able to do the CT or MRI, he may very much suitable in uh, cases of uh, super specialty hospital where they have separate separate departments. When you are going to the rural centers or the general hospitals, the same technologies as to may undergo different processes like your uh, exit to be taken, assist in ultrasound or mammography to be taken or interventional processes depends on the requirement. So the person who is persuading all these specialities required multiple skill levels for the future good career options. And reasons for the procedures, the information is overloaded. So complex, difficult to maintain competency in entire range of imaging services. Development is too rapid. Rapid development of spatial and temporal resolution of CT images and new softwares in MRI. It's very difficult to handle with that fast phase. And referring clinician's role. Clinical information is important to correlate with the uh, findings, especially to avoid the false positive images. And the patients, clinicians required comprehensive information to reduce level of expertise of non-subspecialized professional may reduce the quality of the patient's care. And the teleradiology is becoming a significant component in delivery of radiological services due to high quality and speed of image transmission. This enables subspeciality opinion to be provided easily and quickly. And the technological development way, there's an often short innovation cycle of radiological equipments. Specialist professional can assist the manufacturers with the technology development and implementation in the field. Because the basic things are available in that role, but when we want to do some specialized procedures, we may require some additional gadgets or something. So we can interact with our customer service of the manufacturers and we can give some inputs where they can modify the equipments or the, some of the processes to enable very positive reports or the imaging a good experience for the patients. That maybe a patients may not be able to lie down for a long time or some comfortability to given to the patient to do some procedures. This will help in that category. And the research category is an imperative that professional engage in research in their own discipline. It becomes a huge domain requiring imaging and at present much of the research is undertaken through multidisciplinary protocols.
and uh, during the uh, persevering courses they are doing the, the from the diploma level degree level and masters level and the doctorate when doing up to the certificate level they are giving the basic competency in handling the radiological equipment but in the diploma and degree levels they are having much more knowledge about the equipments and to handle the different type of procedures in masters level super specialization occurring for each and every specialty of the radiology services like a forensic radiology that so this is a so far is a unknown process for the radiological profession now recently the forensic science radiology is improving a much better role and i will facing a way to a new professional way not only in the hospital industry other than that the hospital industry also this is working out very much and uh, during this research uh, they are able to get that artificial intelligence how they can handle because so many people are thinking that artificial intelligence will reduce that workload uh they remove the radiographers from the field it is not like that artificial intelligence really working a very well for the technologies and it will give you a boost to them to get a uh, get a accurate diagnosis or results with that imaging protocols and the different new imaging techniques are day by day lot of views previously we have in the general radiology we see that different views to do that imaging for the different anatomical sites but with this computer enabled techniques and the modern gadgets will help for a radio radiographer to get a specialized way to do the lot of imaging processes in the way help the patient and the clinician to get a appropriate solution to the problem and is they have the role in the industrial also radiographers nowadays the one tenth of the radiographers are moving to us industrial radiographic processes they are having a very good rapport when they have to do some little specialization in the processes and how to make it up they will enable them for to for that Uh, to find out the flaws in the programs or the any other procedures hey, as you present of indian society of radiographers and technologists i am proud to inform that as a organization we are guiding the radiographers of india and indian origin settled abroad for their career guidance and for that discipline specialties to get that updated in that they are conducting a regular cmes and the district level national state level national level meetings are conducted nowadays we are doing a webinars to update that our members on the all the radiological professions is a movement to improve the status of radiography professional nationally and internationally we are having coordinated activities through all the root levels and to the institution levels so we are coordinating with all the persons and forming guidelines for the training and what can be get additional knowledge is and we are always participating in the because having a role of a society in that society we want to make some helpful work to that entire radiography community through the government because to get a national level affiliation or anything to be done with the national level we have to coordinated our activities with the government state government or the central government then only we can spread the messages 
and get the whatever the required for that professional improvement and that for the future professional. So we are always very much co uh, coordinated with the state government and central governments and other research processes. So in that, uh, in the, during 1990, sorry, uh, 2015 National Conference, our Honorable, during that time, Mr. Honorable Health Minister, Mr. J.P. Nataji, he came to our conference and during that process, during that inactive speech only, he announced that he is uh, ready to put a professional council for the radiographers. Previously, so many, uh, for the past two, three decades, the processes are continuously going on, but nothing is materialized. After that uh, Chandigarh meeting without our Honorable Nataji, he immediately floated the processes and uh, all the stakeholders, stakeholders are called for the processes and we are taking taken active participation and given inputs to make that what are the possible one in the processes. And during the time uh, in India, we started the uh, Ministry of uh, Health and Family Welfare to want to make it a the curriculum development at the national level. Well, previously, each and every institution have their own curriculums. The person who are persuaded from the different areas, if you're not able to go and get the same level of proficiency when he's going to national level or international level, it's difficult for them to coping to that. 